Hello everybody. So this is going to be a really quick short video. Um, I was in the city yesterday and actually had a chance to get over to Michael's. It's the first time I've been there in months. I just never usually get over there and more often than not there's just nothing I need anyway. But I was in the area, stopped by there and thankfully came across, um, they're the Sizzix cutting pads, but you can use them in your big shot. I needed these so badly. <laughs> Mine are getting so warped and just destroyed because I've had them for however many years. And, uh, um, and they're everywhere online seems to be sold out. Like I've been having a hard time getting them. I could have ordered them through uh, Stampin' Up, but again, there wasn't a whole lot of stuff I needed from them either that, yeah, usually if I'm gonna order online or anything else, I like to bundle things together, get free shipping, all those sorts of things. So yeah, got those, used a coupon, cause at Michael's, especially here in Canada, the price is ridiculous. I think they were like $17 for these. That's nuts. Like even through Stampin' Up, I think they're like $11. And then online, through some of the online stores, they're like under $9 American. So eh, use a 40% off coupon, which now comes up very easily on my iPhone. Um, kudos to Michaels to finally getting that figured out and making it easier. So I was able to look up the coupon and use it and buy it. Anyway, they had all of their wood mounted stamps on sale and I came across that one. It's little Fluffles Cupcake. So of course I had to grab him because he is cute and people that know me know I love Fluffles. I don't show a lot of cards with these because almost all the Fluffles images I own are like retired. You can't get like, and you can't even find them anymore. Like. I've looked them up online to try and find links for people because of course anytime I post a card using one I get so many emails from people asking and even though I said and I have been more lately um, stamps that I love even if they are retired I'm still going to use them you know because you just take the inspiration blah 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 but yeah fluffles no matter what I will keep all my fluffles images because they were they're just cute like he's so adorable so I got him and then I kind of dithered back and forth on getting um, the Easter dollar stamps um, because they're not technically my style. This is just a random one. I just thought that was pretty, so I got that. Um, but yeah, I actually had an idea while I was looking at all of the stamps because normally I actually would have just passed on these. I, Because you guys know I'm more into the cutesy, um, fun for free type uh, images and these are more not vintage but you know realistic looking kind of give you a vintage idea whatever so yeah but while I was looking at them I remembered because I had shown you guys this authentic hope pattern paper in my last um, little all that scraps haul and it's got all these more you know the brownie blue patterns and it's kind of so I just as soon as I thought about this paper with these images I was like ah oh, perfect so I've got some card ideas I haven't posted any Easter cards yet I know I've been so busy, it's just nuts. And sadly, when I do get some cards made, it's gonna be later than I planned. Like Easter's coming up in less than a month. This is ridiculous. I've been making tons of birthday cards lately. I only post, again, I've only posted one so far, but I have like four more videos on my computer to edit. It's just this time of year, I have so many people's birthdays coming up. So I've just been making birthday card after birthday card. Haven't had time to do Easter. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get to it all. I just have way too much going on. But yeah, these are the little Craft Smart dollar images that I got. And I didn't get all, there was other ones available too, but I didn't get them. There was a cutesy kind of one that caught my eye of a little, it's like a little chick with bunny ears. It was cute, but I'm like, there's no point in me buying every single one when I know one, I'm not gonna have the time to use them anyway. And two, I just, I just didn't care. <laughs> it's just been one of those couple of weeks. So yeah, got all those. And then last but not least, this little owl dude. He was just in, they had like an aisle of kind of home decor -y type stuff that was all on for at least 50% off. Um, the bright colors and everything in that aisle caught my eye, but then once you got into it, everything was kind of cheap looking. But this little dude caught my eye and he's open on the top. So he'd be great to hold like, you could have him hold your markers, rulers, scissors, whatever. I'm actually gonna take him to work and put all my nail art brushes and stuff because I have quite a few in them. But isn't he cute? So yeah, and I got him for like $6 or something like that. So 
I think he's absolutely adorable. And there was an orange one too, but I obviously preferred the green. So yeah, that's it for my little tiny quick haul and ramble. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.